Hello, you all. First, I like to give honor to God, the head of my household. I want to thank God for blessing us all to another day that wasn't promised to us. Today is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. It's so windy, but it's beautiful at the same time. I'm outside. I'm ready to go save the lost souls for the Lord. I'm ready to go win for the kingdom of God. You know, they have so many people that's out here on the streets that need minister to. You know, we can't stay in the church behind the walls all the time. Jesus told the disciples to go out. And you know, I go out. So today is the day I'm going out. And I pray that many souls get saved. I pray that many people hear the word of God. I pray that many people accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Because, you know, just by saying that you love somebody and um, tell them that God love them and you love them. That's a whole lot to someone because you never know what someone may be facing, what someone may be going through or giving someone a hug. You know, that they bring excitement to someone because you don't know what someone may be going through. You don't say, hey, God love you. I love you. Tell someone today that you love them at your job, wherever you may go at. Tell them Jesus, Jesus loves you. God loves you despite of what you're going through today. God loves you. And, you know, so I thank God for, you know, I, I got a couple of care packages together. I got a couple of Bible tracks together. I'm going to do what God called me to do. You know, I can't worry about what nobody else ain't doing. I got to worry about what I'm supposed to do and what God called me to do. And I thank my pastors and my church for encouraging me. I thank my prayer warriors for praying for me, my auntie for praying for me, my grandma for praying for me. I just thank all my brothers and sisters of Christ for praying for me and encouraging me to stand. You know, I thank God for holding my hand when I walk through the valley. You know, I thank God for protecting me when the enemy thought he can attack me and take 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 me in but no weapons formed against me shall prosper you know i'm more than a conqueror i'm bold for god you know i'm not scared to go out in the streets and speak what does say the lord say because i know my god is with me every step of the way so i encourage someone today to step out on faith be bold for Lord. Tell someone you love them. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them your testimony. Stop sitting on your testimony and go out today and tell them what the Lord have did in your life. What what brought you through the storm? You know, so I just thank God and I encourage someone, don't give up. Help is on the way. And you know, this this light is just this shining bright. It's, you know, the light is out today and I and I thank God for this beautiful weather today and the sun so shining everywhere but I thank God for this day because God is amazing God is merciful God is a forgiving father I don't care what you did in your life God is calling you today to repent to come to him no matter what you're going through, whatever you're facing, God said he'll wash that away. Jesus already nailed everything to the cross. Now it's time for you to step up and let God take every burden, every stress off your body, off your thoughts in the name of Jesus. And I pray today as I go out that many souls be saved. And I pray that someone that's maybe watching this video do not give up. God said he would never leave us or forsake us. He's always with us. At times, the enemy try to put thoughts in our mind. God ain't answer your prayers. Devil, you a liar. See, that's thoughts of the enemy. That's not thoughts of God because God is in love. God love us. He's not going to put crazy thoughts in our mind. It's the enemy. And I come against that in the name of Jesus. And I send it back to the buyers in the lake of fire forever burning in the name of Jesus. That you're going to get your thoughts right. You're going to get your mind back. You're going to get your children back. You're going to get your health back. You're going to get your joy back in the name of Jesus. But you got to open your mouth and tell the devil what God you serve. You got to tell the devil, Satan, get behind me. I belong to God in the name of Jesus. But you got to open your mouth. You know, at times, many people want us to pray for them. But God want to hear your voice. God want to hear you speak to him. We can pray for a person all day, but if you don't have faith, you can't move God. You can't go into a prayer without faith. And you go back and ask him, God, well, I thought you said you were going to do it, but you were in the closet already. You were on your knees not even having faith in God. So how can you move God? God said you cannot please him. You cannot move him without faith. So I pray today that someone 
Test their faith. So you have a blessed day. I love you all. Bye.